Elon Musk just took control of Twitter and fired its top executives. U.S. media has reported late on Thursday in a deal that puts one of the top platforms for global discourse in the hands of the world's richest man. Musk sacked Chief Executive Officer uh, Parag Agarwal as well as the company's uh, Chief Financial Officer as well as the company's Head of Legal Policy, Trust and Safety. This is what the Washington Post and CNBC reported citing unnamed sources. Musk has tried to step back from the Twitter deal, remember, soon after his unsolicited offer was accepted in April. And he also said in July that he was cancelling his contract because he was misled by Twitter over the number of fake bots. Now, this is an allegation that the company rejected. Twitter, in turn, sought to prove Musk was contriving excuses to walk away because he'd simply changed his mind. After Musk sought to terminate the sale, Twitter filed a lawsuit to hold Musk to the agreement. With the trial looming, the unpredictable billionaire then capitulated and revived his takeover plan, which is now all but done. Let's go right across to NDTV's uh, Rubina Mungia joining us on the phone line with the very latest. So, Rubina, uh, the Twitter deal is done. The world's biggest platform uh, in terms of public discourse is now owned by the world's richest man. Yes. Uh, Elon Musk has finally taken over Twitter and the Elon Musk and Twitter saga that began with the Tesla billionaire, you know, shoring up the stock in the social platform and raising stock prices has finally culminated in the takeover of the platform. Elon Musk is now the CEO of Twitter and day one has been a bloodbath for the existing executives. You know, as Musk took over the platform, he has immediately fired the current CEO Parag Agrawal, CFO Next Level, legal and policy head Vijay Agade, as well as Sean Edge at the legal counsel, as per the US report. Uh, Musk has previously taken aim at, you know, existing executives for having a left leaning bias. Now, earlier this week, Musk said that he was buying the company to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner. Now, Musk takeover raises questions over his plan to increase profitability in an increasingly volatile economic climate for advertising agencies. Elon has previously talked about cutting staff by 75%, though he has since uh, backed out and denied that statement. Uh, regardless, job cuts still remain on the table. Uh, Musk has also talked about pivoting the company to create X or VSAT like platform that would serve as a one stop shop for all communication services and payments. It is also believed that he will allow Donald Trump back on the platform as part of his bid to change moderation on Twitter and to create a level platform for speech. Now, moreover, Musk has also suggested that governments and companies might be charged to stay on the platform. So we'll have to see what uh, Elon Musk uh, has planned for Twitter in the future. But right now, it's, it's a very volatile environment. The trading of the Twitter has been held for today on the New York Stock Exchange. All right, so trading for Twitter held on the stock exchange uh, um, today as, of course, this takeover formalities are uh, now being completed. Elon Musk has reportedly fired the CEO, the CFO, as well as the legal head. Uh, thanks, Rubina, for joining us with those details. Let's uh, go right across now to NDTV's uh, Priyanshi joining us in the studio for more. Uh, Priyanshi, I mean, you know, this has been one of those deals. Will it happen? Won't it happen? First, it was an absolute shock when, um, uh, you know, we saw that Elon Musk had showed interest in this deal. Uh, he then backed out, uh, after which Twitter uh, sort of held him accountable to the deal. And now uh, it's finally done. There's a complete change of guard as far as the top brass of Twitter is concerned. That's right, Rishika. I think all of us remember that tweet that Mr. Elon Musk put out that I'm planning to buy Twitter. That that day it seemed like a random tweet, but today he has finally taken over Twitter. It's a saga that started in the month of April when uh, Mr. Elon Musk announced that he he holds 9% of Twitter's shares and he is therefore the largest shareholder of Twitter. After that, there was a saga of suits, counter suits, and finally Mr. Elon Musk has taken over. So the richest man of the world is now in charge of 
what can be called the most influential platform of the world. Now, after he has taken over, as we've discussed, he's fired the top brass of the company. The CEO, Parag Agarwal, and also the CFO, Nat Segal, both have been fired, including other top executives of the firm. That is something that was being expected because uh, Elon Musk had sort of a bitter relationship with Parag Agarwal. Both of them were also involved in a Twitter fight. Remember when Mr. Elon Musk uh, uh, seeked a sort of response from Twitter about fake and spam bot accounts, Parag Agarwal gave a detailed response on his Twitter account, gave a detailed threat uh, and after that Elon Musk replied with a poop emoji. So there was a sort of uh, complete public banter that was going on between Elon Musk and Parag Agarwal. So it was clear that Elon Musk wouldn't want him when he takes over. So that is what we are seeing now. Now let's take you through the timeline a little bit. As I said, it started on April 4th when Musk said that uh, he is the largest shareholder of Twitter. Then after that on April 4th, uh, Twitter also approved uh, Musk's appointment on their board of directors after that uh, this was on uh, this was in april as well twitter approved the his uh, appointment on the board of directors then uh, musk said that he doesn't want to join the twitter board of directors uh, he said that uh, he could express some concerns and he said that i don't want to join the twitter uh, board of directors april 13 is when musk announced his final offer he said this is my final offer to take over twitter and it was an offer of 54.2 dollars per share that came down to a total of around 44 billion dollars uh, deal to take over Twitter. April 25, Twitter agreed to Musk's, uh, the Twitter shareholders agreed to, right. the, uh, to Musk's 44 billion dollar Twitter deal. After that, there were suits and counter suits and now finally Musk has taken over. He's also sure. written a letter to the uh, advertisers saying that I'm doing this because of my love for humanity and as he's uh, continued to say that uh, I will make it a free speech platform, less censorship. It's right, uh, currently far left. I don't want to make it far left of our right, I want to make it politically neutral. So we'll see what happens as uh, these are Musk's visions for the planet. Well, absolutely. What happens is a big question uh, that remains to be answered.